Hey, my name is Mackenzie, also known as M to the Third, on Instagram, Ravelry, and YouTube, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about reading and knitting at the same time. Most people think it's wild that I read and knit at the same time, but I have a couple of secrets that I'm gonna share with you so that you can do it too. Number one is being able to knit without looking at your work. And number two is having a setup so that you don't have to spend time turning the pages and the text is really legible and easy to see. If you've never knit without looking before, I promise you it's not as intimidating or as difficult as it seems. In the wise words of Elizabeth Zimmerman, close your eyes and just knit one stitch. Nothing too traumatic is gonna happen. Also, it's just knitting, so if there's a problem, really don't worry about it. You can fix that stitch. So, close your eyes, take your knitting, and just knit one stitch. Check it out. If it's okay, then do it with a couple more. And in the lead up to introducing actual text, just work on knitting without looking and increasing that time a little by little. The other trick to this is don't do something complicated. This is a time to work on stuck in it and just using the plain knit stitch. This is the perfect opportunity if you've, you're knitting like a top down yoke sweater and you've done all the color work and now it's kind of onto the boring part. It really is the perfect opportunity to try this out. So practice knitting without looking at your work and make sure that you are focusing on just doing a project in plain stockinette or something that is just using knits and doesn't have any complicated patterns. The second piece is having easily accessible, easily legible text. I like to use my Kindle for this in particular. And I have a really great book stand because I do it so frequently that I'll link below in the description and you can check out. But really the main thing is to balance your iPad or your Kindle or a book and it's standing up. So that all you have to do is tap the edge of the screen every once in a while to go on to the next page. Thank you for joining me today. Let me know if you read and knit at the same time. And if you try it, tell me how it goes. And I'll um, see you next time. Bye.